We're getting all the Yoshis. Bert the Yoshi. I, I've never, I've played all the Yoshi games, all the Mario games. Who the hell is Bert the Yoshi? I don't, I don't know. Can we walk on this? No. No. All right, so we opened up a new area, and we're back for another adventure, in case you didn't know. Um, I'll be Bert. Bert the Yoshi. I hope that there's an Ernie the Yoshi, because that would make me really oh, cute. Yeah. You know about them, right? Oh, you know. Bert and Ernie? Yes. <gasps> okay. I don't know that I do know. Yes. Okay, so, uh, have you ever seen the movie, uh, It's One Play? Yes. Bert and Ernie are the cop and taxi driver in It's One Play. Oh! And so, they base those characters off of those guys. Isn't that awesome? That's yeah, it's pretty cool! I okay. know! How do you insinuate it? How do we get to the new area? Do we have to go back to the main area? Maybe. Let's go back to the main area and see if we can get there. Um... Wow. Yeah, that says one. So are they saying one, are they yeah. saying that Bert and Ernie from <laughs> here we, there yeah. we go. from It's a Wonderful Life are a couple that should live together <laughs> and, and love each other? Not that they're necessarily like sexual. <laughs> they're just best friends. They just love each other. Yeah. Well, they're the ones that like set up uh, the like um, honeymoon because remember it got canceled in the movie. Oh, I should do a million times, so I know everything about it. So they're the ones set up the posters and the sing that's and right, everything that's for them right. to have a really nice. Like, yeah, they're kind of because they don't. Yeah. They have to give it up because yeah, yeah. Because of all I do, I do love that yeah. movie. Oh. It's one of my favorites. I wrote a paper. <laughs> yeah. Well, I took some film classes in school, and that was one. Of, oh yeah, because what's really interesting about that movie, um, is that when they show. Thanks. <laughs> I need you. I need you. Nice oh. job. I didn't do shit. That was you. When they show, like, uh, oh my god. Oh, it doesn't work. Here, go down This is easy. Well, when they, sh they show, uh, oh, this is cool. like him as a kid, it's supposed to be, like, every scene starts out as, like, a happy go lucky like, family film, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if you ever watched the, like, Andy, Ruby, um, Judy Garland movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of those where it's just, like, them on, like, family adventures, blah, blah, blah. Everything's, like, nice. And, you know, but then everything goes wrong everything for, for it, George Haley. Because yeah. it's, it's always in the sections. You know what I mean? Because the movie is a bunch of sections. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. It that makes sense. different times of his life. I just like, I never really realized that before. But it, it always starts as what you would expect. And right, and then, then, it, right, then it goes horribly wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Like that. I love that movie. Me too. I watch it every Christmas. Me too. There are all kinds of movies that I love. But, um,. Aren't like super popular, you know what I mean? Or it's like, not like super popular. Well, but you it know, is a classic. it is a classic, but you're not. I guess it. because well, if I think something is a classic, then I think it is popular. Yeah. But I, some people are like, Ugh, I don't want to watch that. It's black and white. Yeah. I'm like, it goes it's, down. It's good. I tried it. Okay. Um. Right. Apparently. No, no, you. you no, I didn't. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I like never hear any. Anyone talk about it really except just, like Christmas time. So, it just for lots of reasons, it's really good. I mean, when Jimmy Stewart like impassioned like monologues in the movie, they get me every time I watch it. And I've seen it, I couldn't even tell you how many times. Like, at least once a year, so yeah. you know. And then I watch it for class, and sometimes I just watch it. So, I've probably seen it about 35 times. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. um. Uh, and, I, and then I, I started, I went on a kick where I was trying to watch a lot of black and white movies because, yeah. uh, I mean, there's so many movies that come out of time and you, like, worry that, like, you know, your kid is not going to know this movie because there's just so much. And yeah. the more as time passes, the less like they're going to see, you yeah, know, this that's stuff. True. So you think, you got to think that anything that you've heard about that's really old, movie, I mean really old movie-wise. Yeah. And I mean, like, 40s. That's all, like... Because that's, that's the golden yeah. age of cinema. Yes. Um, it's like when, when the talkies started oh. through, the, through the 40s. Um, um, and, and so, like, anything you've heard about, it's probably really good. Yes. And a lot of people just think that they're, like, really boring. But it's because you have to understand the pacing. Do you know what right. I mean? Right. It was a different, yeah, it's a different time. It's a different style of entertainment. Yeah. It's not, like, explosions, and that's what makes a good movie, which... Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, but and but there are some that some people are it's okay. uh, that you can hear that they're just not aware of. Do you know what I mean? Because there are like we, they're not. 
to be action movies, but there are intrigue movies yes. and like mysteries yes. that a lot of people would like. Yes. Because the pacing is still very interesting. Like, have you, um, have you ever seen? Ooh, nice show. Good. Okay. Have you ever seen the Maltese Falcon? I've not. It has Humphrey Bogart in it, and oh. it's um, it's like this suspense mystery movie where all these people are looking for this artifact called the Maltese Falcon that's supposed to be like. Uh, a, a, a statue that is painted black, but I think, I think it has gold in it, something like that. And it's supposed to be worth like a ton of money, and all these people are after it. Like this, like um, really rich guy and this cop and these car artists. Like, so it's just really interesting. They're all looking for this one thing, and so there's like wine, and intrigue, and I, I just, I just like that. Hmm. What? I don't get it. Down here. I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, now no, my, one of my favorite older movies that I just think, oh, oh nice, has, has been, been, like, I don't know, just, I don't know, we're so good, um, that I worry, um, is, like, like not gonna be, ooh, um, it's Cool Hand Luke. I have actually not seen that one, but I know what it is. It is, it is, he only made three movies. Uh, yes. Before he died. Yes. And this is Paul Newman. Paul. Um, no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. No. No. <laughs> it's not Paul Newman. I know. I'm a. Reason I can't think of his name. It's not Paul Newman. I promise. Paul Newman. What? Which one am I thinking of? No. Oh no 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 no. See, okay. That movie, yes, has Paul Newman. I don't, but he's not the one who died after making three movies. That's the young oh, guy. Oh, who died in the car crash, and he did uh, Stella. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. The Rebel Without a Cause? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, can you shoot this thing over here? Yes. <laughs> you're killing me. You're killing me. Um, so now I gotta look it up. Okay, I've never seen Cool Hand Luke. What's, what's, what's it, the story about? Okay, so Cool Hand Luke is the story of a guy. James Dean. Who, oh, James Dean. Okay. He died and he made three movies and died. died. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what I said. Um, he gets sent to prison for, I think, murder? I'm pretty sure. Did I just get eaten? A little yes. bit of murder. <laughs> um, and, okay, okay, um, I, God, I can't remember. I, I, I want to say that he... Him. Crap, now I'm, I'm going to, that's going to bother me. But anyway, um, so go. it's about how he tries to reinvent himself in prison. And he's like such a ham. And like there's this great scene where um, he's, he does a, he does a dare. Um, and he's going to like come in and eat all these eggs. And he comes in like a fucking boxer. Yeah, we like, got to go, we got to go. Oh, oh, shoot, sorry. I didn't, happening? I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. I thought it was a, oh, shoot. Well, that's okay. I mean, I think it was just teaching us. Because there's like nothing up here. See, there's nothing up here. Right? So anyway, it's just a really funny scene because he comes in like he's just he's just eating a bunch of eggs. You know what I mean? Oh god. Um, <laughs> ah, I don't. Oh, we can't do this. Yeah. Maybe. Sorry, uh, oh, do we? Why are we filming? Um. Here. Jump over. Jump over my head. Oh. Jump over my head. There. No. I think I have something to do with that switch. Yeah, me too. It's weird. Okay. So, okay, eggs. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and, it's, and it's just really funny. Yeah, 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 now I'm gonna go. go, 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 go. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it, it was just, it's a really we're funny scene. Save yourself! <laughs> Don't worry. Jump, 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 jump. Um, but it <laughs> also... Don't worry, I'll save myself. <laughs> but it also has one of, like, one of the great... Oh, sweet. Okay. One of the great movie lines ever. It's like... What we have here is a failure to communicate. Oh, and I love when I find out like yeah, things yeah. I know. Yes, from and, and but I can't tell you like the setup or what happens because oh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a big spoiler. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Did I? Did I? I'm done. <laughs> um. Me. Yeah. Um. But it's just it's just like a really and I sat down to watch it with my dad and I was like I don't want to fucking watch this old stupid movie and I yeah, laughed yeah. I laughed the whole way through and oh, see that's another thing people like don't realize that old comedies are funny yeah like it's especially the good ones ah, see a lot of comedies now like they don't have staying power like remember when we were in high school everyone freaking loved Napoleon Dynamite I know it's not funny no it's not like, I mean certain things like it's surprising well like and I can I'll say <laughs> certain things <laughs> like, I'll, I'll say certain things and I'll get a chuckle
to myself, but it's mostly for like nostalgia, like Tina, you fucking hog, or whatever, like this. Like nostalgia the, reference, the, that sort of thing. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly, or like vote for Pedro, or whatever. Yeah. And that joke. Right, it's not yeah. funny. It's just funny because I laughed about it when I was 17. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like it doesn't, like you said, it's not like. Um, but. Have you ever watched, um, like Charlie Chaplin do anything? Yes! And He's freaking hysterical! Yes. So, okay, funny story. When. Like, computers were first starting to, like, be a major part of, um, Wait, come back, come back, come back. of households. Um, I bought, or my mom bought this, um, this, like, it's like, like, ooh, nice. Yeah, she, baby, she bought, yeah. she bought this, speaking of horrible movie references. I know, God. <laughs> um, she bought this, like, encyclopedia thing, so you could, like, look up whatever you wanted, but it also had, like, an old film gallery, right? And there was some Charlie Chaplin shit, and me and my cousins would watch this daily and yeah. laugh our asses. I mean, yeah. he would, like, like a house would fall down around him or whatever. I mean, it... My mom was amazed. She's like, all these cartoons that these kids have and what yeah. they're laughing at is the old yeah. silent movie. I mean, yeah. it was really funny. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, we gotta beat this level. I'm tired, I'm tired. We got all the things. What are we doing? Let's go. But fine. <laughs> Jeez. I can't. Party pooper. <laughs> you have to shoot that thing. It's like that, it's like that video. God damn it. Flu, flu, lugs. Why are people pooping at their parties? Dude, I showed that. I can't remember who I showed it to, and they did not laugh once. I, and I was like, no. I thought it was great. That's the most disappointing thing when you find a great video and you're like doing the. Eh, eh, like, eh, 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 is that funny? Hey, hey, hey. Is and that funny? Like, and they're like, no. No. It's just <laughs> not funny. I think it's. Like my 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 whole family thought it was funny. I but even it. but even my grandparents, um, because they lived in Germany, oh, and yeah, my yeah, grandparents so spoke German fluently, yeah, yeah, and yeah. so he thought it was hysterical. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. But yeah, I can't remember who I showed that. Oh, I, I think I showed Chrome, and she was like, no, <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> Poor thing. She has a flaw. <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> She didn't find that one video funny. That's it. That's all we found. We've known her for, for months now, and there's no flaw. No all right, what do you shooting we get? Let's go. Show us, show us, show us, show us. Show us. Show us. Uh, shit Yoshi. <laughs> safari Yoshi. Yoshi. All right, okay. What do you mean a Safari Yoshi? What I'm are you sorry. you? Uh, well, he is better than Bert. I'm not <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Definitely better than Bert. <laughs> Alright, thanks for joining us on this party pooper adventure. Woo! And we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.